A daunting figure was released early this week on the nation's marriage rate. A study by Korea Institute for Health and Social Affairs showed that one in five people in their early 20s may never get to tie the knot should the current trend of marriage avoidance continue. To tell us more about the low marriage rate among young Koreans and its effect on the society as a whole, we connect live to Dr. Cho Yong Tae, professor of public health at Seoul National University. Thank you for speaking with us tonight. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. Right. Dr. Cho, is marriage losing ground in Korea and how serious is the problem? Well, as the, the research showed that uh, at age 20, you know, the young people right now, their probability of getting uh, re remaining being single when they become age 45 is about one out of uh, four people. The marriage is related with the fertility. We all know that the importance of fertility. We are losing babies in this country, and that will uh, kind of uh, that will uh, make a, a threat to to our future sustainability in Korea. So that uh, late marriage that is related with uh, less childbearing or even just uh, giving up of childbearing. So that's one thing. And another thing is that this is related with the family formation. You know, the Korean society, it's not just Korea, all society in the world, the basic unit is family. But not marrying, that means that we are losing our family in our society. Now, Dr. Joe, some point to the fact that government support policies are mostly tailored to married couples, while the singles or newlyweds are often excluded from these benefits. So right. what should the government do to encourage marriage in the country? Okay, the, regarding this low fertility and population aging issue, government has so far focused only on the child care issues. Of course, child care is very important because in this country, child care related social environments was poorly structured. But now they need to change or they need to focus not only on child care, but also on marriage. Because in this society, without marriage, there's no child bearing. So, Dr. Cho, even if the government does have measures to support marriage, if you just ask normal Koreans out on the street, some of the problems that they have in terms of not getting married are very uh, culturally based. For example, it's expected that the man in the marriage brings a house, a fully paid house or fully paid uh, deposit rental house right. to the marriage. How realistic is that in this day and age to expect a 30 year old who probably has worked for maybe three to five years to come up with that kind of money? We need to change or need to make some structure that marriage has to be, particularly early marriage, it has to be considered as an advantage in your life. And one good example is, as you just mentioned, that uh, housing. Because right now, housing market is so high and expensive. And then, uh, of course, the government, they made some uh, arrangement for the newly uh, married couples, but that's not enough. My suggestion, actually, I already uh, made to the government was that we need to support this early married couple with uh, providing uh, uh, the, you know, the long-term renting apartments. And then, well, this may not sound realistic, but let's say they get, uh, they have a first baby within the three years, then extend their staying there for, for five more years. Within five more years, they have second baby, then we just change their houses to a larger one and make them stay there for 20 years. And statistically, uh, from around 1990 to 2005, the nation produced more boys than girls. So even if everybody wanted to get married traditionally, it wouldn't be possible, would it? Um, well, well, we don't know yet because uh, those uh, you just you know the, those age groups that you just mentioned they are about age 20s to around 18 to 22. Uh, oh. When they become age 30, about getting married, then uh, we don't know what's going to happen. So, well, statistically, probably the men, the boys, would have a hard time to find their spouse. All right. Well, uh, Dr. Cho, thank you so much for sharing your insights with us tonight. Okay. Thank you very much.